We're here at Scar Hill Farm near Halifax today to speak to Richard Rulewright about his feed alert silo monitoring systems. Richard's been monitoring two silos for just over 12 months and we're really excited to hear how he's been getting on. We've been farming here in Halifax for about 130 years. Uh, I've sat with my grandparents and we decided to move with technology onto a uh, robotic milking system. So we're mil currently milking 105 cows. Um, we, we, we've built up from about 60 to 70 cows. Uh, they're building an old 110. Um, but we're really, really pleased with it. Really pleased with it. Once we upgraded the system, we moved on to the silos, uh, which have been fantastic, fantastic move really. The benefit of having two silos is that we can swap feeds between one and another. We can balance the feeds between a 16 and the 20%. If we have a problem with one silo, or we need to strip one silo down for cleaning, which we do annually, it, it allows us to continue feeding without a break. And we can completely empty one silo, clean that down, and then obviously vice versa. We didn't have any monitoring right at the beginning. In the past, we, we used to run out of feed. Um, somebody forgets to order. Um, obviously, the, the feed companies take, they need three or four days notice to get, to get feed onto farm. If we forget to order, we run out of feed, um, and the impact on that is that the milk drops really, really very very quickly. The cows need the feed to attract the cows to the robot. So if the feed goes, the milk drops, the visits drop on the cows, and then obviously you've got a lot of financial loss of milk. So, so that goes. You can lose milk very quickly over, over a day, 24 hours. But to recover the milk from a loss of feed could be, take maybe five to seven days to try to recover back up again. So that period can require a substantial loss of milk, so we can actually ring the feed companies and, and order it in good time. Hopefully we don't run out then that way, so that's the benefit of them. It stops you running out of feed. We had the towers installed first and we didn't know about the feed alert system. So so we gave, gave the guys a ring at Collinson's and they came back to us and said, yeah, we've got a feed alert. Um, it comes in kit form, extremely easy to fit. The kit came in a little box, it's a very simple little device. Simply fixes the leg, low level, we didn't have to climb the towers or anything, it's just a case of eye level, fix the leg in the correct place, which is provided with excellent instructions, um, fixed in, plugged it in, and then just gives you the accurate reading as, as we've been wanting, you know, so we can monitor a lot better. So we zero it when it's empty, and then what we do then, as soon as the feed comes in, we put a set amount of feed that's come in, for example, 10 tonnes, uh, or the exact weight on the ticket, so we've got a calibrated known weight, and then from then on, the tower then monitors itself and it rises and falls as, as, it's, as it's sort of being used. So every time then a next load comes in, it automatically um, refills itself. So there's no need to calibrate every time a load comes. The silos are the 11 and a half tonne capacity each. Uh, so we generally have a 10, 10 and a half tonne load blown in when required. The silo monitors, they do give us peace of mind. And as, as the silos get less, um, the app alerts us that we're running low on feed. The beauty of the Feed Alert app is it's always available. Um, we can check any time for the actual amount of feed that's in the tower. Um, even if it's gone dark at night and you can't see see the actual level in the tower, it's always there at hand. So between all our workers as well, they can all monitor it. Um, so he's, ordering is simple really. We just look to see how much feed's in there and then we can ring the feed companies just to uh, alert them that we, we need an order. Um, we give them Given plenty of notice via their app, it simply sends us a text message and we can monitor to see how much is in. Um, obviously, the, the, the feed companies take, they need three or four days notice to get to get feed onto farm. We've chosen to supply our uh, data with the feed feed companies. Um, that, that's an added bonus because they can see when we're running low. Um, so that is a little bit of a backup. And uh, if we forget to order, the feed companies can monitor uh, at their end as well because we, we've allowed them to access to it. Um, and because they're monitoring, we, uh, we, they can actually give us a quick ring, say, OK, Ridge, you're running, you're running short of corn, or you're running short of feed, would you like a load sending in? Or we could actually go the full log and say, you'll monitor it for us, and if, and if we're running low, just send a load in, and then it's sort of something else for us less to worry about. But that's something we've sort of arranged with our feed company, and we're happy for them to have the information available to them. So it works, works both ways. One loss or one miss of order or one miscalculation and the feed alert's paid for in one go. The, the app's free, uh, there's no ongoing cost, it's just a case of once the, once the kit's bought and paid for, 
fit it, plug and play as you might say. So Feedler's been, been fantastic. Um, it's very cost effective. The return on the investment for the actual feed alert is, is a no-brainer.